a very good evening to all a very special today and we have gathered here to pay tribute to the late lata mangeshkar ji and uh, you probably are very aware of uh, her and her contribution to the indian music and also through her some of the small performances through her actings so we are going to uh, have one by one uh, some top, uh, some topics uh, from your sides so that we can have a glimpses of her life her contributions any of the song you like the most of her uh, you can uh, sing here also so it is a kind of a tribute uh, to the greatest personality and uh, uh, so we should start and if i get uh, your topics it would be very uh, good to arrange uh, in a proper sequence so that uh, we should be going in a timeline manner so could you just tell your topics so that i'll note down and i'll allocate the names yes anay samiksha jyoti naman ashish hope you are all prepared to speak on the life of lata mangeshkar ji yes sir yes sir yes then what is your topic Mm, sir uh, lata she was born on 20 um, means uh, born age and her some of the <laughs> achievements and yes yes go on tane sir what was she called uh, and her uh, some of the achievements and uh, how she died okay okay then i will be focusing on achievements and her reason for the death okay uh, who else there jyoti samiksha ashish naman parth shantanu tejas um yes sir okay before everyone starts let me just go over purpose of today's session it is a tribute session as announced by tejas it is to draw some lessons from the greatest personality from the music industry a person whom across the borders across the continents people loved we are witnessing since yesterday when the news came that sad news came that <coughs> no more from all over world people are expressing their opinions feelings and tributes what could be the reason that the physical boundaries are broken pakistani prime minister and cricketers especially music lovers which is otherwise an enemy nation for us so here is a music related power here is a love from that music fraternity lata mangeshkar even though she is known as a singer but as a person has lot to discuss about her humility her tremendous talent dedication commitment and in her work as a human being an outstanding figure just briefly you as such will be covering she was born on 28 september 1929 in a music family her father pandit dinanath mangeshkar was a great music person but when lata ji was 13 year old eldest daughter her father died in an untimely matter manner she took the responsibility of family in 1942 she started her career till her death she was so committed devoted for her music her love for music was unparalleled nobody can match and that is why she was larger than life she was so sincere and honest in her work sacrificed whole life for music 
सी इज बेटर नोन फॉर हर सिंपल लिविंग हर लव फॉर क्रिकेट यू ऑल विल बी टॉकिंग टूडे सी वॉज क्लोज टू ऑल पीपल अक्रॉस ऑल फील्ड्स यू मस्ट हैव सीन टूडेज न्यूज पेपर एंड मीडिया हाउ हर पॉपुलैरिटी वॉज नाउ यू आर जस्ट किड्स स्टार्टिंग योर लाइफ we need to carry those teachings value system why people become great it is not only money it is not only education lata ji did not go for education unfortunately on first day only she dropped from school there is an incident if someone knows it will cover so this session is purposefully kept firstly as a mark of love and tribute to her life but here is a young generation you are just kids her 92 year plus life can be a great teaching for many of us so better we learn lot of values her songs every song has got so many things to teach of course song there are many players into it there is a lyricist there is a music music director then there are actors actresses and singer is just one part but i am sure tejas we will do justice to today's session uh, let one by one these uh, kids speak there are some elders also probably they will join we will take them also on board if someone sings sir can i ask you a question yes yes tane sir she was born as hema mangeshkar then why she is called lata mangeshkar okay there is a story because her father was a drama drama director there was one show in that there was a lead actor and from that lead act that lead role he was inspired and put her name as lata okay so she was known as uh, hema but or named as hema but that run her father named her lata from one of the uh, inspirational whatever uh, drama he had made and that there was a lead character or a, maybe he liked that character and named uh, her daughter his daughter as lata okay tane yes sir okay uh, tejas over to you in the end again i will speak something because i have also lot to speak okay tejas over to you yes sir yes okay so as sir discussed there are many some of the incidents and many incidents from which as a youngster as a youth and as a kid we should be drawing lessons uh, the contributions are such like we have been getting recognized by her name there are many Uh, stories or the incidences i have been hearing in the news or from uh, over the internet that uh, whenever a person random person or journalist was uh, in the random country he was being recognized that okay you are from the land where the lata mangeshkar ji resides or where the amitabh bachchan resides so such a famous or are these personalities carries and uh, it is the biggest honor when uh, these personalities have uh, their biggest identities and we have we get recognized by their names so we'll be focusing more on the uh, more on lata ji's life uh, through your lecturettes so we'll be interested to deliver first sir may I? yes sir may please uh, good evening friends i will tell you about Uh, what was she called uh, her uh, some of the achievements and uh, how she died uh, lata mangeshkar uh, was an indian playback singer and occasional music composer she is widely considered as one of the greatest and most influential singers in india her uh, contribution to indian music industry in a career spanning seven decades gained her honorific titles such as the nightingale of india voice of the millennium and queen of melody she recorded uh, she recorded songs in over 36 indian languages and a few foreign languages though primarily in hindi 
बंगाली मराठी शी रिसीव्ड सेवरल एकोलेड्स एंड ऑनर थ्रू आउट द हर कैरियर In nineteen eighty-seven, the Dada Sahib Phalke Award was bestowed on her by the government on, of India. In two thousand one, in recognition of her contribution to the nation, she was awarded the Bharat Ratna, India's highest civilian honor, and is only the second female singer after M. S. Subbu Lakshmi to receive this honor. France conferred on her its highest civilian award. officer of the national order of the legion of honor in 2007 on 8 january 2022 lata mangeshkar tested uh, positive for covid 19 with mild symptoms and was admitted to breach candy hospital intensive care unit means icu in mumbai she remained in the icu icu with the signs of marginal improvement in her health the doctor treating her had taken her off ventilator on 28 january after her health improved marginally however she was back on the ventilator on 5 february after her health deteriorated and was undergoing undergoing aggressive therapy she died on 6 february 2022 at 8 12 am aged 92 from multiple organ dysfunction syndrome after undergoing 28 days of constant treatment for pneumonia and in the covid 19 the government of india announced the two day period of national mourning mourning and that the national flag will fly at half past half mast from 6 to 7 february throughout the indian out of respect for her president ramnath kovin vice president venkai naidu Prime Minister Narendra Modi, several union ministers and chief ministers, many members of the Indian music industry, film industry, celebrities, fans express express their condolences. Indian cricket team players wore black arm band to mourn the loss of Mang- Lata Mangeshkar in India vs West Indies first ODI. Thank you, sir. i remember uh, that when the news came that she was admitted uh, due to covid 19 in my family also everyone was praying that she should get recovered well but uh, unfortunately the health was not on her side and uh, the age factor played a very crucial role uh, but still uh, the legacy she has been created and now uh, the younger singers would be like to carry forward her legacy uh, will be a very mortal t- Uh, in in our lives yes uh, you name any award uh, in the country or uh, probably outside also there is no such award which uh, she is not a recipient of and uh, surely such a great personalities are beyond uh, uh, such recognitions and awards and uh, because of such things she also uh, refused in the later half of uh, her life uh, various national film awards and she uh, instead Uh, requested that uh, the young sh- uh, singer should be encouraged and should be getting the awards so such a uh, lessons uh, where we can get from such personalities good well covered tane uh, who will be the next lecturer sir can i sir may i sir may yes, i jyoti yes good evening everyone my today's topic is lata mangeshkar we should thank the almighty for uh, for bringing people like lata mangeshkar into our country she has entertained and inspired millions of people for many years indian singer lata mangeshkar is known as the nightingale of india lata mangeshkar was born on 28 september 1929 in indore and has worked extensively in various uh, spheres of indian popular and light classical music she has sung Bhuj, uh, bhajans and pop etc in fact she has sung over 50000 songs uh, for three the generation of heroines from madhubala to jinit uh, aman to kajol even became the most recorded artist in the world with the guinness book of uh, book of record originally dinanath's family has the surname uh, hardikar uh, hardikar 
बट चेंज इट टू द मंगेशकर इन हॉनर ऑफ हिज नेटिव गोवा टाउन मंगेशी हर चाइल्डहुड नेम वॉज हेमा शी शी वॉज रिनेम्ड आफ्टर अ कैरेक्टर इन वन ऑफ हर फादर्स प्लेज लतिका विथ द ब्लेसिंग्स ऑफ हर ओन फादर लता मंगेशकर टेस्टेड लता मंगेशकर टेस्टेड द फर्स्ट फ्रूट ऑफ क्लासिकल म्यूजिक द स्काय फेल डाउन वेन इन नाइनटीन फोर्टी टू पंडित दीनानाथ जी पास दवे इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू थाउजेंड शी वॉज नॉमिनेटेड टू राज्यसभा फॉर हर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन टू वोकल आर्ट एंड मेलोडी दिस वर्क एज पार्ट ऑफ हर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन टू वेलफेयर ऑफ कंट्री शी वर्क टू द अपलिफ्ट एंड अंडर प्रिविलेज थैंक यू जस्ट सम टाइम अगो सर स्पोक अबाउट हाउ शी यूनाइटेड टू नेशन विच हैज दर बिगेस्ट राइवलरी इन द वर्ल्ड सो आई रिमेम्बर वन इंसिडेंट आई वॉज रीडिंग इन द न्यूज पेपर देर वॉज लेटर्स रिसिविंग टू द ऑल इंडिया रेडियो फ्रॉम द लाहौर दैट स्टेटेड दैट द इंडियन कुड गेट कश्मीर इफ दे कुड गेट दैन लता मंगेशकर जी सो यू सी how uh, the aura of this personality was how uh, the music the voice of her has united the two nations even this uh, later states that how important she was there in pakistan too uh, it is very important uh, to pay tribute and that is why we are here and uh, you all one by one are covering very good things about her life okay so we'll be heading to our next speaker will be the next Yes, who is this? Vaishnavi, your voice is very low. Just a little bit louder. Okay, now uh, how to say? Yes, now okay. Yes. Good evening, everyone. Uh, today, I want to share one incident about Lata Mangeshkar. it must have been sometime in 1947 or 1948 when hindi cinema's most iconic actor dilip kumar was still not so well recognized as to get mobbed and could easily travel to work in bombay trains one day the music director anil biswas dilip kumar and lata mangeshkar found themselves traveling in the same train compartment uh, dilip kumar asked anil biswas about the young girl to which he said she was a young singer who sang well dilip kumar asked her name and where she was from biswas told the name and that she was from maharashtra dilip kumar's response was but their urdu pronunciation isn't correct and is and in their singing you can smell dal bhat that he could make such a statement and not worry about political correctness speaks of an india where people were possibly less uptight about regional identities and took statements such as this at face value without overreading them or taking offense uh, it also uh, speaks of an india where urdu had not been demonized demonized uh, and uh, knowing urdu and speaking it correctly and well was a matter of pride not subversion however what is most incredible is Lata Mangeshkar's response to Dilip Kumar's sub Dilip Kumar's statement in her conversation with Nasreen Munni Kabir she confessed to being terribly hurt at hearing such a thing but knowing how important it was to know Urdu as a singer in the Hindi film industry she found merit in these harsh words and chose to do something about it she knew the composer Mohammad Shafi who worked as an assistant to Anil Biswas and Naushad She told him that she wanted to learn Urdu so she could pronounce it correctly. Shafi found her a Maulana, a gentleman called Mehbo, who taught her Urdu for a short while. As Lata went on to say, "When I speak, my Urdu isn't very good, but when I sing, I make sure there are no flaws in my diction." And so it was that instead of being aggrieved or taking the high road of language, uh, Tata st- Lata strove to better herself when singing in languages not her own 
सच एज उर्दू और बांग्ला और तमिल शी वुड फर्स्ट लिसन टू सम वन हु स्पोक द लैंग्वेज रीड आउट द लिरिक्स टू हर एंड देन शी सिंग एंड देन शी सेंग अ सॉन्ग थैंक यू yes just look at the irony the person who never gone to school or just gone to school for a single day uh, was knowing 36 languages and was uh, has recordings in 36 languages so see it is the hard work she ever put for her recordings as vaishnavi said she always uh, uh, the singers of various languages before going to actual recordings so she always try to have perfection in whatever she was going to record so it is the kind of a learnings we should be taking whatever things which we don't have we should be getting trying to inherit from others and we should be working it and we should be trying to inculcate among ourselves to make our lives better so with very good vaishnavi uh, will be the next now Subodh is here. Subodh, uh, I welcome you. Uh, you want to say anything? Uh, no, no. They just you can just carry on. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, will be the next speaker. I am audible. Sir, may I? Ashish yes, Naman. Sir. Yes, Samiksha. Yes, sir. So good evening, everyone. So we are uh, all aware about the. Lat- एरिया म्यूजिक पर moved the entire nation with her influencing voice while she sang a mere vachan to go on all india india radio a stunned national web to her heart reading voice vachan vishwa is known as night angle of dia and lata mushkar so that will be love but others involved national uh, involved national pride and were used to motivate indians her last two recording uh, recorded music includes a gayatri mantra and a song that we uh, that was a tribute on the indian army i think that pakistan prime minister imran khan on a sunday paid tributes on legendary lata mangeshkar who passed away earlier in the day taking to twi- uh, twitter imran khan said with the death of lata mangeshkar Uh, the subcontinent has lost one of the truly great singers that world has known listening to her songs has given so much pleasure to so many peoples all over the world pakistani prime pakistan prime minister imran on sunday paid tribute on legendary lata mangeshkar so much pleasure to many peoples all over the world she received her music 
Um, her first music lesson from her father. At the age of five, she started to work as an actress in her father's musical plays, Sangeet Natak in Marathi. On her first day of school, she left because they would not allow alone her to bring her sisters Asha with her. Apart from this, she was also awarded by, uh, the best music director by the Maharashtra state government for from the for the film Sadi Manse. Ira Nisha Devatla was voted best song from the uh, same film. Film. A book on Lata Ji, titled Lata Mangeshkar, A Musical Journey, was also published by Yatindra Mishram. It tells the story of the queen of the Hindi music from 1940s to the present day. In 2001, Lata Mangeshkar was honored with the Bharat Ratna, the biggest award in Indian culture. Her uh, other awards including Padma Bhushan in 1969, Padma Vibhushan in 1999, Cine Award for uh, Lifetime Achievements in 1999, Dada Sahib Farke Award in 1989, Maharashtra Bhushan Award in 1998, NTR National Award in 1999, Bharat Ratna in 2021. Legion of Honor in 2007, ANR National Award in 2009, Three National Film Award, Film Fair Award by Film Fair Lifetime Achievement Award, The Greatest Indian Poll of Poll of Outlook India, and Lata Mishra 10th in 2012. In 2007, she released an album, Sagi Vij. Contain nine like songs written by David Akhtar. She did an album in 11 called Sarahade Music Beyond Boundaries, uh, which includes a duet with and, uh, Mehdi, Hassan, Mehdi Hassan. On 2012, she launched her own duet album, LM, that version she performed with her sister Usha on this album. She was nominated to Rajya Sabha in 2000 from her contribution to vocal art and marriage is also an important field of her work. As a part, as a part of her contributions to the welfare of the country, she works, works to uplift of <laughs> underprivileged Deep side have a great name. Upon moving moving to Mumbai in 1949, she began to study Hindustani classical music with Anat Ali. Ali. Uh, partitions. Uh, he migrated to Pakistan. Thus, uh, she began studying with Siddhi Alsidas, Sharma, and uh, Amanat. She was born She was song in the Hindi film, film composed by Ghulam Haider. We all know that what happened after that her life has never been the same. Thing. Thank you. Okay, uh, it is a very lesser known fact that a very first recording of her uh, in the film, in the Marathi film in the year 1942 was not made into the final cut, was not included in the final movie. But uh, because of this, she never lost hope and uh, her, uh, her efforts uh, get got polished year by year and we have seen many of her uh, various legendary songs we could say and then it came Aega Anewala in 1949 it was the first major hit of Lata Mangeshkar Ji and uh, the last song uh, which she got inspired from PM Narendra Modi, Modi's one poem uh, Saugan Mujhe Is Mitti Ki so if you see uh, the voice the melody or melody in her voice all throughout these years uh, though she was turning uh, above 80 above 90 uh, the voice was still melodious and still the same, still the silkiness in her voice was there. 
so you see how much of hard work she would have uh, put in and uh, it is that she used to practice daily uh, she used to uh, riyaz daily in the morning so you can see how much uh, it takes to be such huge personality to to be such a legendary icon so it is that we should be always been uh, uh, having a consistent effort in whatever work we do so that our efforts whatever we are putting in should be worth it at the end okay good uh, samiksha uh, will be the next now sir can i yes who is this naman no sir varad new yes okay varad please Uh, sir actually i want to sing a song of lata mangeshkar in male version yes varad thank you sir lag ja gale ke phir ye hansi raat ho na ho shayad phir is janam mein mulaqat ho na ho जागले हमको मिली है आज ये घड़िया नसीब से जी भर के देख लीजिए हमको करीब से फिर आपके नसीब में ये बात हो न हो शायद फिर इस जन्म में मुलाकात हो न हो लग जा गले थैंक यू सर ब्यूटीफुल ब्यूटीफुल वरद जस्ट यू मेड द मेमोरीज अगेन न्यू ओके ओके विल बी द नेक्स्ट नाउ before someone uh, speak something uh, good going all these young kids if they carry at least one lesson from lata ji's life will be great thing music is power music is everything it has a tremendous power it can really bring happiness to your life uh, energy to your life motivation you see what uh, lot of speakers have spoken from different variety lata ji is many qualities we can discuss uh, one of them was commitment like one speaker has say, said about dilip kumar incident about urdu she learned urdu of course someone's mother tongue is a marathi it takes time to pronounce it correctly there is one song where it took approximately 22 retakes aayega aane wala that from movie mahal which is supposed to be first thriller and suspense hindi movie this song the recording started in the evening 6 o'clock and till morning 6 7 roughly 12 hours recording was going on nobody took break and then song was finalized so after such kind of efforts and energy dedication the song will have eternal life today also that song if you listen and see amazing the wordings lyrics very nice and in that there was one word bagair i think one of the senior personality of that time uh, i think nargis mother nargis was an actress i think her mother was there on set very renowned and very qualified on urdu she called lata ji and uh, she said very nice because she mentioned there was one word in that bagair deepak bagair that wordings was there in that lyrics and she said you have very nicely pronounced it to so lata ji in her one of the interview said how minutely these great people listen for one word someone praised her 
that you have correctly pronounced it that bagair word in that song so thereafter she learned she uh, she need not be bothered she got confidence and she focused on more and more improvement till her last song she was learning she was dedicated she never wore chappal or shoes when she was singing or recording see the faith and belief system and value system lot to learn she had some belief system that i should not wear any footwear and she used to be barefooted great yesterday there was one uh, social media footage or picture we saw sharad pawar ji in his 80s was barefooted at the venue of this uh, last rites of lata mangeshkar ji he was not wearing chappal lot to learn from these people and then sharad pawar ji's daughter supriya ji offered him chappal once the he offered his prayers then that chappal was given by supriya ji sule lot to learn these people are amazing few qualities we need to learn they had everything name fame if they had mentioned anything people would have obliged to them people would have fulfilled their wishes dreams okay over to you tejas i just filled up the gap yes sir yes sir yes will be the next speaker now sir may i yes who is this aradhya yes sir i am okay sir i am tanishka sorry tanishka okay please yes sir good evening everyone so today's my topic is lata mangeshkar lata mangeshkar was born as hima mangeshkar 28 september 1929 was an indian playback singer and occasional music composer she is widely considered as one of the greatest and most efficient singer in india her con- her contribution to the indian music industry in a career com- spanning seven decades gained her honorific titles such as the night in nightingale of india voice of the millennium and queen of melody she recorded songs in over 36 indian languages and a few foreign languages though primarily in hindi bengali and marathi she re- she received several accolades accolades lords and honors throughout her career in 1989 the dada saheb palke award was best over on her by the government of india in 2001 in uh, re recognition co- of her contributions of uh, to the nation she was awarded the bharat ratna india's highest civilized civilian honor she is only the second female singer after m s uh, subhash subal sub, subalu lak, subalu lakshmi to receive this honor france con- conferred on her hi- its highest civilian uh, awarded Uh, officer of the nation national order of the legion of honor in uh, 2007 she was the recipient of three national film awards 15 bengal film journalist association awards for four film fair best female playback awards 
to film fair special awards the the film fair lifetime achievement award and many more in 1974 she was one of the first indian playback singers to e- ever ever perform at royal albert hall london her last recorded song was a rendition of the gayatri mantra at mukesh ambani's daughter isha ambani's wedding thank you sir thank you friends yes we are talking about her achievements and many accolades she has received but <clears throat> yesterday uh, i saw the gathering of the crowd uh, when her last rite was uh, happening uh, the shivaji park was given the crematorium status and she was the only second person after uh, after the shiv sena leader bala saheb thakre to receive this uh, shivaji park as a crematorium status so you see these awards and uh, various recognitions Uh, are not of that much importance you see a person is uh, died and how much uh, the recognition is uh, she receiving not only from her uh, the citizens of her own country uh, who loves her but also from the nations uh, who considers uh, who is uh, the biggest enemy also from all over the world uh, especially from the uh, life of cricket from the family of cricket see such uh, remarkable things we should be looking forward and uh, such uh, things uh, make person legend okay well uh, covered tanishka now who will be the next no one wants to uh, speak about lata ji naman parth hello yes naman you want, you want to speak yeah bhai i am want to tell something about uh, lata mangeshkar ji yes. okay so very very good e- good evening to all the gentlemen who are present here uh it's a very i'm honoring moment for us that we have also lost one of the most famous personality uh, and her name is lata mangeshkar so i should want to tell a one sari for her kehte hain har cheez mein sangeet hai bas kehne wale nahi sunne walon ki zarurat hai so this is a thing and we would also want to tell about her contributions in the field of an anything in the teaching or in all things as like we know she is a playback singer and as well as told by tejas bhi and all the people who told her it means there is no any award which is left from her it means i hope according to my opinion she have taken all the recipient so whenever we have take one by one the awards which is given to her so it's a it's take a long time so the thing is that we could not want to forget her we know about it that uh, in these two years in a one year we lost more more of the personalities who lost their lives as well as neither it is a cds general bipin raut or it is a lata mangeshkar so it means we would want to consider their levy their contributions a lots of a thing we have want to teach from them and also as well as told by sanjay sir that uh, our melody voice and all the things and see also we are a chappal so these are the things which, which we have want to notify in our mind and we would want to inspire from them and we expire ourselves that what is the thing we have want to teach from them and we also know that uh, we have called her nightingale of india it means this abbreviations is very uh, great for her we know about it also that nightingale bulbul she is uh, he this is the bird uh, which has a melody voice i mean all the birds so as not as well as prefer to lata mangeshkar ji she is also a nightingale of india it means her voice her melody voice is one of the most thing which is not fine in another wise so these are the things and uh, we all know also about it that all the our prime minister and president uh, have paid their homage and pay their tribute towards the lata mangeshkar ji so these are the things 
and i would also want to pray to god that they must take the peace for their soul jai hind jai bharat okay so we are talking about her melodious voice uh, i i was reading and i was uh, weaving, uh, weaving one interview uh, where she, where when she song e mere e mere watan ke logo so the prime minister that time jawahar lal nehru came to tears so such a uh, uh, such a melody of her voice was still uh, in now also if you see uh, if you hear the song you will feel something connected to her voice uh, okay uh, will be the next now bhaiya uh, i have had yeah. one one boy whose name is arnav tiwari so can we introduce him yes yes arnav He has joined in the session. Yeah, yeah. Today he joins. Are you listening me? Hello, Arno, brother. Hello. Are you listening? Hello. Yes, Arno, you are audible. Hello. So, good evening, students. My name is Arno Tiwari. and i am in 9th standard and i am currently studying in boys high school pragraj and uh, this is my first session that i have came here this is the first time i have came here and i'm a bit of a shy person and i came here to build up my confidence level and to enhance my communication skills and uh, i'm very optimistic that i want to become a pilot in indian armed forces either in air force or army and uh, i don't know uh, uh, much about lata mangeshkar but but i know that i like i have a bunch of uh, information about her that he was born in 28 september 1929 and he died in uh, 6 february 2022 and he sang uh, around 50000 songs in uh, 14 other languages and uh, so that was the thing i don't know much about her sir thank you sir thank you okay probably the kids of our generation uh, don't recognize her talent or her voice uh, we are more uh, of the nature or of the loving kind of a thing of the modern songs but see uh, if you hear lata mangeshkar ji once i promise and i am very confident that you will fall in uh, love with her melodious voice It, the songs which are being sung by her are evergreen and that will be going to be uh, lived for generations to come yes yes sanjay sir that is precisely what arnav is saying that he is not knowing much about lata ji that is why we have kept special tribute session that we must know what india is about what is the strength of india which are the greatest personalities which we should keep in mind their value system learnings from them now that era is over lata ji is no more but we need to take few things from such people's life because we will read about them we may may not be witness to their life lot of these great people are living but what minimum we can do for our nation sake because lata ji was not only a singer she was a nationalist she was cricket lover she was close with every personality see a person started her life as a simple kid at the age of 13 took the responsibility of family and carrying those responsibilities she built her life did not marry sacrificed whole life for the family and then developed other interests she never used to miss any cricket match when there was any uh, important match she used to manage her schedule used to go to cricket venue i must tell you one of the interesting thing about lata ji recently 1983 movie was released what is 1983 anyone 
Sir, India has won first World Cup in uh, nineteen eighty three. There is an interesting connection of Lata Ji with nineteen eighty three World Cup team. You all must know. When we lifted the World Cup, the BCCI was not that rich. They had no money, and they were confused and worried. How we will welcome back our great heroes, Kapil Dev and team? How we should felicitate them? One of them suggested, Lata Ji is also a lover of cricket. Let's take her help. So Lata Ji was more than willing, happy to help. There was a show organized at Delhi Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium, live show to raise fund. More than twenty lakhs rupees were raised in nineteen eighty three. It has got tremendous value, twenty lakh in nineteen eighty three. So every player was given one lakh rupees in that time, and that is why BCCI always showed that love, attachment to Lata Ji, and in her honor. After that, for lifetime. two vip seats were always booked for lata ji in vip box in any international match of india this is the kind of strength affection learnings from these people how they live in their life how they contribute wherever possible it is interesting she was a singer but she was attached to cricket she was attached to all good people everyone used to be uh, in touch with her she was uneducated but she was most talented person so while we are taking education let's be a complete human being let's learn there are other dimensions of life let's learn those things that is why we must study these people their good value system some of the qualities if we can really imbibe it will add to our strength it will make our life more beautiful okay tejas over to you i think there are more senior members also joining so you can invite them uh, i will just see bol bharti sir okay yes naman sir uh, my sister is wants to uh, sing a song to tribute uh, lata mangeshkar so sir uh, she would want to yes, song, sing yes. a song Very nice. Go ahead. Hello, very very good evening. Go. Good evening, all of you. Ay, mere vatan ke logo, jara aankh me bhar lo pani. जो शहीद हुए हैं उनको जरा याद करो कुर्बानी ये सर सीज हुआ वेरी नाइस वेरी नाइस दिस सॉन्ग हैज गॉट लॉट ऑफ हिस्टोरिकल रिलेवेंस आई विल जस्ट टेक वन मिनट तेजस Uh, in nineteen sixty two, there was a setback for India. We were not prepared for war. Yes, sir. China. China had backstabbed us. Nehru ji believed China, and we extended our friendship. But they backstabbed us. We were not prepared, and we lost lot of brave heroes. After that war. this song was played and pandit ji our prime minister was there and when this song was played pandit ji because that background was there how every soldier fought it was sudden attack and in that backdrop the intensity of emotions of prime minister downwards every citizen was very important to note and he had tears in his eyes and that is why this incident is very very famous and lata ji and this song and these stories will be immortal they will be eternal as long as human civilization india as a nation we will survive these names and these memories will survive okay uh, tejas good yes sir yes riya good 
ओके सो एनी मेंबर आई डोंट नो हु वांट्स टू स्पीक एनी सीनियर मेंबर हियर हेलो गुड इवनिंग तेजस यस भारती मैम uh yes uh, i would like to announce uh, there are two members of my family they wants to sing a song a sensation called lata took all the apathetic souls not just of india but the whole world how can we finish this lecture without singing her songs so i uh, let me present you two good singers i will not say <laughs> the best one but good singers of our family they want to tribute uh, lata lata ji by the, uh, her uh, singing her songs so i will just hand over to them and they will sing i hope you all like it ek pyar ka nagmai mojo ki rawani जिंदगी और कुछ भी नहीं तेरी मेरी कहानी एक प्यार का नग तुझसे नाराज नहीं जिंदगी हैरान हूँ मैं हो हैरान हूँ मैं तेरे मासूम सवालों से परेशान हूँ मैं हो परेशान हूँ मैं इंसान तेरा होगा मुझे पर दिल चाहता है ओ कहने दो मुझे तुमसे मोहब्बत हो गई है मुझे पलकों की चाह में रहने दो इंसान तेरा अजीब दासता है कहा शुरू कहा खत्म ये मंजिले है कौन सी न वो समझ सके न हम मुबारक तुम्हें कि तुम किसी के नूर हो गए मुबारक तुम्हें कि तुम किसी के नूर हो गए किसी के तुम पास हो कि सबसे दूर हो गए अजीब दासता है चलते 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 यू ही कोई मिल गया था यू ही कोई मिल गया था सर चलते चलते सर चलते चलते वही थम के रह गई वही थम के रह गई मेरी रात ढलते ढलते यू ही कोई मिल गया था यू ही कोई मिल गया था सर चलते चलते ये समा समा है ये प्यार का किसी के इंतजार का दिल ना चुरा ले कही मेरा 
मौसम बहार का बसने लगे आंखों में कुछ ऐसे सपने बसने लगे आंखों में कुछ ऐसे सपने कोई बुलाए जैसे नैनो से अपने नैनो से अपने ये समा लग जागले के फिर हसीरा हो न हो शायद फिर इस जन्म मुलाकात हो न हो लग जागले ये राते हैं मौसम नदी का किनारा ये चंचल हवा ये राते हैं मौसम नदी का किनारा ये चंचल हवा कहा दो दिलों ने क्या मिल कर न होंगे जुदा राते मौसम नदी का किनारा है चंचल हवा मेरा कर्मा तो मेरा धर्मा तो मेरा सब कुछ मैं मेरा सब कुछ तू Didi, it's a very melodious vibe that you both have. Very nice. Uh, we really enjoyed. Maybe because of some network, sound was not that coming very effectively. But feelings, feelings, and that uh, uh, inner strength, inner energy was reaching out to us. Very nice. And in fact, uh, these songs. See, there is a team behind every song. Lata ji was voice, but that voice has given real energy to that hard work, real shape to those greatest hard work people had put in, and many careers have been built of actresses. Because if you see those movies, were really revolving around her songs, 
and we need to carry forward lot of good songs they are getting remixed you may not be aware that uh, some of the those songs are again recreated remixed music is given in different tune and something like that because technology is there okay tejas you speak on and maybe uh, anybody else wants to speak Okay, I think we can sum Hello? up also. Yes. Hello. Yes. 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 Yes.
Lata ji worked for more than three generations, and she was the way she was in the initial days till last. She carried that personality. This is the greatest learning: humility, simplicity. We need to understand in true sense. These people, when they were on top of world, but they had no air in their mind. They treated even newcomers in industry with same sense of respect, and that is how people worship such personalities. We need to understand in our real life that our progress, one is materialistic, but it should not bring any kind of arrogance in our behavior. So, with this, I urge and request everyone. It would be a great tribute if we learn at least one quality from Lata Ji. and imbibe in our life follow it in true letter and spirit that will be greatest tribute okay thank you tejas and everyone it was a great session memorable session and uh, we will carry forward some of the good teachings of lata ji's life thank you bye jai hind jai hind jai bharat sir thank you sir thank, thank you sir. thank you for the session guys jai bharat sir